I want to give a quick thank you to the WD-40 company for sponsoring this video. What did we mess up here? Oh boy. I thought that just went bang. The wheel stopped turning and then it just. Uh, I want to make a note that this is actually part of the planner that you worked on. And that's why we test it before heading out to the field. So it looks like a little, I thought it was metal, but I guess it's just a little plastic piece. The tensioner for the drive chain rides on this little plastic bearing that holds it in place. And I guess that snapped and came loose. For us, it's 3.40 on a Friday, so hopefully Sloan's has the part in stock. We can make it there just in time. Four, four, six, five, six. It's a Oh my god, really? Up there? Absolutely, get your hands on it. So Sloan's has three of the parts that we need in stock in Bloomington. So we're gonna unload the sprayer that Travis bought for the ATV and we're gonna fly to Bloomington, get it, hopefully get it fixed in good time. Grab it like you stole it. Or it isn't yours. There ain't nothing here. Oh, yeah, there is. 5075E. All right. New plant. Hmm. Captain. Yeah. That's all the heart table. <laughs> it's not it. No. That's right. Well, but why the it's made out of plastic? That's BS. On all sorts of levels. Space stage materials, it's technology, man. Well, all the thing is, he's getting man. the he's getting the blame because he's the one that changed the chain. The chain was routed right, but he was the last one to touch it. Mm -hmm. So you're guilty by default is basically mm -hmm. what he's saying. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty sure that's all the problem was. Yeah, because it's still green. You can thank your local parts guy for stocking that for you. Yeah. I figured it must be a common part that breaks. You so you knew it was a problem. Why didn't you warn us? Yeah, what the heck? You're I did. To be I got it on the shelf guy. for you. How much more can I go about it? <laughs> it is. You should have told us that it was going to break and you just told us to replace it. Then you just said, well, I'll, I'll run I'll it until it does because I don't does. want to spend the money up These front. These parts guys are too smart for their own good. Yeah. Thanks, you now. Well, we know for a fact I could have welded this. Plastic. Yeah. That should have nothing to do with it. If you're good enough at welding. So, save yourself a souvenir. Seems like you're the one that broke it. Uh -huh. $6 part just put us back an hour. I came up to grab the WD-40 Specialist Gel Lube No Drip Spray. We're going to spray this inside that plastic bearing to give it some lubrication because there is no other way to lubricate it. So we figured it's probably a good idea to spray this before we even get it on. Safe on multiple surfaces, including metal, plastic, and rubber.
All right. I fixed your mistake this time. You do it again, you and I are gonna have words. Let's try this again, shall we? Been getting a lot of people asking me what brand these tires are they are carlisle 255 65 r12s they're pretty aggressive over an inch and a half. One more check. Manager's coming. He's heading out to start planning out at my place. Now he broke down. He got started out there. Fortunately, I didn't leave yet. Or unfortunately, because I would have been out there with him. But let's go see what went wrong. So what went wrong? Wow. It's just not running. I didn't even go 10 feet. Yeah. Basically, it did it the second the planter hit the ground. So, I don't know if it's the shaft is getting is that shouldn't be moving like that, but I can also get some shims behind there and actually tighten that up, and then it'd be fine. I mean, this is obviously crooked now, there's got to be something making it jump. I mean, all things considered, this is what it is but when I sight down the rest of it it looks fine so it's kind of the same thing happened again something's going on in here so we're gonna take the very scientific approach and I'm gonna ride along I'm actually gonna put my camera into slow-mo mode and see if it does it again that uh, bearing that we replaced got kind of screwed up so there might be something else going on that we can't see so now that I'm here, I'm going to ride on it. The very unethical thing to do. But to help us try to figure out what's going on, I'm going to ride on the planter and just kind of keep my eye on this and see if I can tell or get it on camera when it happens. And then we can go from there. I don't know what to tell you. Seems to be working all right now. I don't know, maybe it's like a reverse Schrodinger's cat kind of situation. We'll wait and see what happens when it gets just over the hill to where I can't see it anymore. 
he's gonna keep going i'm gonna go back to the farm get this a seed tender uh with those extension boxes on there uh for how much he's done on this lower strip and it's pretty much hardly gone down at all already so um he thinks that we're gonna need to fill up at least once before he finishes the strip on the top of the hill because the one up there actually is kind of a big strip well this looks important probably because it's one of the trash whippers shoot it right off We've not had any more issues since the chain jumped the sprocket the second time. It did it over at the main farm and we ran it some more. It, bro it broke that plastic bearing, we replaced that and uh, it seemed to be running good. He came out here, did the first 10 feet and he said it did it again. And uh, after that I decided to ride with him for a while and I rode with him. Couldn't tell that there were any major problems at play. Nothing happened, the planter has been running good. So let's just go ahead and chalk that one up and say that it's a Friday, it's a good day. It had to do just enough to keep us on our toes. And uh, if it happened on a Monday, maybe then I'd be a little bit more concerned. <laughs> We're hoping that we can get all of the soybeans in by early, early mid next week because they are calling for rain. So if we can get all the beans put in and then we can get a nice spurt of rain on them, that'll, that'll jumpstart those and get those started. So then we can just switch over to the corn and focus on that. So. So far, the planter seems to be running pretty good. Um, I'm going to utilize my time better and instead of just staying out here with the seed tender waiting for him to come back around, uh, I'm going to go in and start working on a video because I haven't gotten inside past 9 o'clock any night this week, so my time is getting stretched kind of thin, especially when I have multiple things to be doing, like making videos. <laughs> so I'm going to go inside and do that. I'll be sure to keep you guys posted if anything else happens, how the weekend goes. Um, uh, I meant to get some footage of Dad running the VT today, but unfortunately I couldn't. Um, I went to Sloan's with him, and we got the planner up and running, so that's the good news. So anyway, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All How Farms Work. And with that, I'll see you next time.